here I am with Simon following our first pre-season friendly, ended in a 2-0 up in town over Leeds. It's good to be back in it, Gaffer. Oh, it's great to be back. Just turning up today and seeing the lines out on the pitch and it's business time again, so it all starts from here. So delighted with the, with the performance of the players, um, all 22, putting a real shift, good honesty and um, stuck to the task. So it's a uh, good result, but first and foremost, everyone's come through unscathed and that bit fitter after today's game. I mean, obviously the first half was probably what we would class as maybe the first 11 that you would normally try and put out and they really took the game to lease from the off, didn't they? Absolutely, the first half was really positive. Um, we pressed we pressed aggressively high up the pitch and uh, forced them into, into areas where we could dispossess them and, and then go and play, play from there. And I thought we set these as a counter-attacking uh, the whole game really, what our game plan was about today. I, I thought um, we did well, we quitted ourselves well and, and we're a constant goal threat. Now the front three was obviously Ryan Kendall, James Walshall and Ashley Walshall and they were looking lively from the start, I mean we hit the, the woodwork, I mean did you think at that point, oh gosh he's going to be one of those games? Oh no, not at all because I thought we'd get more opportunities if we if we stuck to it and um, as long as we're not not um, static up front I think those three if they can rotate and uh, move around and, and uh, be hard to hard to be marked then I think they're a real threat because we're, we're mobile and um, hard working. Um, and if we can earn that right to play, I think we'll create chances. Lovely goal as well from James. He rose, you know, he rose really well and got the header in. Yeah, he came across the keeper up there. I thought uh, uh, Ryan did well um, in the move as well, and um, it caused a problem for their defence. So, but uh, the delivery was, has to be right, and it was um, from Lloyd, who, who was excellent, and, and it was a good finish. Now, the second half, obviously, we saw the substitution came in, but the tempo didn't seem to drop. It was that pressing movement again. Well, that's right. I think I think they've sort of bought into that work ethic, and we have to do it. It's really early days, obviously, but if we can press when we're not hundred percent and be relentless with that pressing, then um, we want us to be horrible to play against and hard to beat. Uh, and with that, you, you you win points. But uh, I think if we, we go about it a different way and be oh well, we'll outscore the opposition, then you'll leave gaps, you get counterattacked against, and um, all your good work can go down the drain. So we've got to be hard to beat first and foremost. And a go from old boy Luke Dean as well. Yeah, he did really well. I thought Luke um, again showed that aggressive side. You know, when Luke first joined us, he, he, he was hundred percent effort and aggression and raw energy, and um, and he had a, an end product. And that's what made him probably one of the better players, um, midfield players at, at this level for the first few months whilst he was with us. Um, and yeah, he was back to that today, uh, full of running energy, uh, a great goal. Now what I want to just do is if I can just slowly pan and show our viewers the new touchline. You put the touchline in, it looks like a good three foot. Is that a tactical thing for our team or is it more of a case of trying to stymie the opposition's fullbacks? Well, it's not because um, I wanted a bit of the suntan, you know, because I was in the shade <laughs> in the dugout, so I had more room for me to go out. You moved the pitch across then? Yeah, exactly. No, it, 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 we're just experimenting with the dimensions throughout pre-season, uh, pre we, whether it's a two up front, um, uh, you know, we're three up front. It's harder for the opposition fullbacks to get out. It's harder for ours, but we've got to believe in ourselves that we've got a good feet and awareness to be able to do that. Um, just having a look at it, we might change it back. Uh, it's still early days. Now, people are pointing to sort of say, well, it was an under-21 side at Leeds United, but they were still a useful bunch, weren't they? Yeah, whoever we play against. I mean, it, it, they're all hard op opposition uh, this pre-season. We've done that on purpose. We don't want to get easy easy games where you know you're even 5-6-0 at a canter and people are jogging through it. We want it to be a hard workout each and every game. It certainly was today. We've got a really good reputation of Leeds United to bring through youngsters with Neil Redfern. He's a really good coach and um, we knew they, they run about a lot more than reserve teams do sometimes. Um, so yeah, it, it's you can't read too much into it. Um, and you can't at all. You can win every game pre-season and you lose the first game, you're going to get stick. And, and that's the way football is. So we, we've, we've got to peak at the right time. But meanwhile, we've got to get a, a certain mindset and stick to it. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Simon. Cheers. Cheers.